A new ABC News Ipsos poll shows the vast majority of Americans are willing to get vaccinated for the coronavirus, but they are divided over exactly when to do it. 40% say they'd get the vaccine as soon as possible. 44% said they'd rather wait for a while. And 15% say they would not get the vaccine at any time. And just as a reminder, experts say about 75% of the population needs to be vaccinated to keep the virus in check. With more on the concerns people have, here's Iowa News reporter Joe Torres. It's one thing to have a vaccine ready and available. It's quite another to convince people to roll up their sleeve. I'm not ready to like get it. Mm -hmm. Maybe a few more tests, maybe, a few, maybe another year. Maybe I'll be more comfortable. No. Why not? I'd like to see, you know, the uh, output on everyone else. They are not alone. Depending on what poll or survey you examine, anywhere from 40 to 50 percent of the American public is hesitant about getting the vaccine or just says no. Those survey results absolutely baffle the head of the infectious disease department at Phelps Hospital Northwell Health in Sleepy Hollow. People are not trustful of this whole thing, and that has to do with politics. We have too much politicking going on. Everybody is playing political football with the disease. You leave it to the scientists, you leave it to the doctors, you leave it to the providers, and everything will be just fine. Vaccine naysayers highlight a number of concerns. Speedy federal approval, a distrust for the government, and what happens after the shot. Would you get it? No. Why not? Terrified of side effects. The reaction to the vaccine is a good thing. Fever, fatigue is a good thing, right? It means that you're reacting to the vaccine, you're developing an immunity that will help protect you against this infection and against this disease. Furthermore, says the doctor, researchers developed a vaccine that works regardless of race, ethnicity, or gender. That news should help alleviate the distrust across all demographics. It's critical for health departments to be working with communities, community leaders, identifying trusted voices, so that uh, the concerns people have can be addressed. I work in a healthcare field mm -hmm. and I need it so I can protect myself and my co-workers and the residents. To those who believe the coronavirus will run its course over time, Dr. Morjani says take a look at history. Natural infection, he says, failed to eliminate smallpox, measles, polio. What did work? A vaccine. In Terrytown, I'm Joe Torres, Channel 7.